This question that we're looking at is in section 2.8. This is number two, and I have the window kind of trimmed down right here to make sure that the name of the student is not being shown in the public video here. So uh, this question is about whether or not a equation is a function and whether or not its inverse is going to be a function. So we start with this equation, y equals 7x squared minus 2, and we have a table where we're given a series of inputs. We need to input those into the function, plug them in for x, and then get their output. So that's been done. And then because there is one answer for each of these inputs, it is a function. I can plug in each of these inputs and I get one thing, the same thing every time. So f is a function, the original equation is a function, because for each independent x value, I get just one y value. When we consider the inverse, we would be flipping the x's and y's around and asking you if you can use the y values to predict uniquely the x values. And that's where we say no, because I got 26 out twice, and I actually got 5 out twice as well. So I have some output values that are repeated twice. So if I ask you to flip-flop this and use 5 to generate a singular x value, you would not be able to do so. You'd be like, well, 5 came from two things. It came from both negative 1 and from 1. And that is why the inverse is not a function. There are two different x values that pair to a single y value. So if you flip-flop this around, y cannot go to a single x. There are two different x's and therefore not a function. I hope that helps with the explanation a little bit. I wanted to do it in voice rather than trying to type it. Uh, I think it just might sound a little better.